Morning guys, welcome to our sixth Super Saturday workout. A um, bit of a break in the weather this morning, so I've got on the back on, a bit of sun's out, so we're gonna get this done in, in the sunshine. Okay guys, uh, so as I mentioned there, the sixth one in the series, okay, Super Saturday workout. Uh, as always guys, we'll go through the same sort of sequences we've been following over the last couple of weeks, guys. So raising the heart rate, activating the muscle groups, bit of mobility before we go into the nuts and bolts of our work today. So before we go any further, we're gonna make sure we've got the right kit and equipment. So as always, clear space, um, required to, to do the workout itself with regards to what sort of kit you're going to need. Okay guys, we can use the trusty sandbag throughout this workout, but there's also the opportunity to switch out for some different loads guys. So potentially kettlebell or dumbbell if you've got those items of kit. In addition to that then guys, we're going to be required to uh, do step ups today. So whether that be on a box, if you've got a box at home or that be on a chair, um, we're going to need something like some, some means of doing that. Uh, as well as, uh, as always, a water bottle, which we're obviously not only for hydration, but we're going to be using it in our in our warm-up. So just a minute or so there guys just to grab that kit. So remember so the load, kettlebell, dumbbell, sandbag, uh, water bottle and we're going to need something safe to step up onto. So just take 30 seconds to a minute guys just to grab that kit, make sure you've got a cleared area and then we'll get cracking. Nice guys, all good to go. Okay, happy with that guys. Okay, so first of all, as always, we're gonna do our warm up. So now I'm gonna be focusing on uh, two rounds. Okay, 30 seconds of down ups. Okay, so the burpee without a clap and a jump. So either stepping down and stepping back up or jumping down and jumping up. So we're gonna work for 30 seconds on those. Nice and steady to start with. Remember, we're still warming up. Okay, so nice and steady, I would suggest. We're stepping down to start with and then warm up into that movement. Straight into 10 external rotation uh, presses, which we're going to require our water bottle as a, a slight load as we're doing that. And then the last one, guys, is uh, 10 good mornings. So two rounds. So just quickly demo those movements then, guys. So the the, uh, the down up then, guys, you're stepping down, chest and quads touch the floor at the same time. Come away at the same time. Step up or we can jump down and jump up. Make sure we're extending the hips at the top. The presses then, guys, I'm going to do it kneeling so you can see for the camera height. So starting with the press, if as if it was a dumbbell, what I'm doing guys, I'm just turning at the waist. I'm gonna turn, as I pivot, I'm gonna press. I'm gonna focus on my arm coming away from my shoulder at a 45 degree angle. And at the very end, I'm gonna extend my elbow and make sure my palm is up. Back in, turn, press out of 45 degrees. Bottom side. Once we've done five on each side, but then to 10 good mornings, we're going to do these with slightly softened knees. So nice strong straight back, hips, hips back slightly, slight bend in the knees. I'm going to come down as far as I can. Okay, keep my back strong and straight. Back up for 10 reps, guys. Okay, so make sure you've got a good area, good, good to go. Okay, first up then, 30 seconds of down up 10, guys. Let's go. So the top guys, chest at the bottom, making sure we extend those hips at the top. Just over halfway. Last one. Okay, into our presses then, remember, five on the right, five on the left. So remember we're pivoting at the waist, turn, Press, palm up, elbow locked out. Five on the right. Or left, shall I say? Five on the right. Turn, press out 45 degrees, palm up at the end. Elbow locked out. And into our 10 good mornings. Remember, him hips back, soften the knees, proud chest, 10 reps, pushing that range each time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and back in guys, 30 seconds up 
of down ups. If you were stepping down and stepping up before, try and push it now to jumping down and jumping up. Or 30 seconds. Ten go. Last twenty seconds, last ten seconds, sorry. Last one. Back onto our presses. Same as before, turn, press, lock out, palm up. Last one. And switch. And five. Last one then guys, take your bodies. <clears throat> Same again, hips back, chest proud, soften the knees. Pushing that range again. Last couple. Nice guys. Okay, good work, grab a quick sip of water. Find yourself a bit of space guys, and we're gonna go into a bit of mobilizing guys, make sure we're good to go. Make sure those muscles are firing nice and mobile, ready for the workout. So as always guys, we're thinking about movements pertinent to the exercises we're going to do today. So there's a number of different movements guys. So I'm going to try and sort of hit a full sort of, uh, sort of body mobility, making sure we're nice and ready to go guys. So first of all guys, thinking about opening up the hips. We've got some squat cleans coming up later on. We're going to get our shoulders, sorry wrong, we're going to get our feet below shoulder, toes ever so slightly out. So in my sort of air squat stance, I'm going to go through some uh, movements now to open up the hips. So first of all, we're going to come down into that deep squat position. We're gonna follow the sequence of th three reps, guys, or three rounds, sorry. We're gonna hold the toes first of all. We're gonna pull on the toes and drive the head and chest up. Couple of seconds there, just feel a bit of a dull ache in the hips. Keep pulling the toes, relax ever so slightly, using the knees now, wrong, using the elbows, drive the knees out. So again, couple of seconds there. Holding the toes, drive your hips up. Huge pull, lower back into your hamstrings, almost into the calves a little bit there, back to the knees. And then stand. Two more, same speed again, come down, get comfortable in that bottom position, hold the toes, drive the head and chest up. Push the knees out. Hips up. And stand. Last one. Bottom position, hold the toes, drive the head and chest up, knees out, hips up, and then stand. Cool, for then guys, we're gonna go down to all fours. And you think about uh, pushing low through the wrist, we're gonna get our wrists nice and mobile. So guys, we're gonna do a couple of variations first of all. So first of all guys, we're gonna get our knees below hips and hands below shoulders. Okay, for five reps, I'm just gonna focus on making sure my fingertips are facing away. I'm just gonna focus on keeping the elbows locked out and sending the shoulders over my fingertips. So five reps, shoulders over the fingertips, elbows locked out, two, three, four, five. Okay, keeping the wrists where they are, below shoulders, we're just gonna now turn the palms to the fingertips while facing towards your knees. Same again, we're gonna go rearwards now. So for five reps, now we're near the same amount of range here, so take it steady. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, back to where they were, guys. We're gonna do some rotations now. So back to where they were, so wrist below shoulders, elbows locked out. We're gonna rotate five times to the right, five times to the left. 
nice big circle, send the shoulders over the fingertips, around the back of the palms, out to the side. Four, five, opposite way. Nice big circles. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, thinking about working into our scap now and our T-spine, thinking about, um, so we've got some pushing movements later on. Okay, making sure my shoulders are nice and good to go. So what I'm gonna do now is keep my right arm extended, left fingers to left ear, and I'm gonna keep that arm extended and I'm gonna try and get my left elbow as close to the wrist as I can, and then open up, same elbow to the sky, open up the chest. Five on the right, five on the left. Two, three, four, Five, switch sides, same sequence guys, opposite side. So left elbow locked out now, so taking the right elbow as far down to the wrist as I can. Open up to the ceiling. Two, three, four, five. Okay, switching down to our bums now guys, we're gonna open up the, this chest and shoulders. Here we're going to do now, okay, so if my hands are behind me to support, fingertips facing away, all I'm going to do now is slowly edge my bum further and further away from my palms. Nice big stretch across the front of the delts and your chest. If it's a bit uncomfortable, just dial it back. If it eases off, guys, just put a bit more on, ease that bum further away. As it eases off a bit more, nice big pull across the chest and fronts of the shoulders. and then slowly ease off, come back. Okay, last one then guys, we'll go through the flow of the workout. We're gonna go through some pike to dive on push up. So we're gonna get ourselves into a plank position then guys. So hands below shoulder, feet slightly wider than the jaw width apart. Okay, on my toes, okay, I'm gonna push back. Okay, send my head down between my biceps, heels to the floor, visualizing now a line from wrists, shoulders, through to my hips, nice flat back. Then I'm gonna go nice and low, scoop through head, chest, come up, and extend my elbows, guys. At this point now, I'm focused on relaxing my hips as close to the floor as I possibly can. A couple of deep breaths. Back up into a plank position, back into my pike. Same again, guys, on nice flat backs. Head between your biceps, okay, pushing away from your wrists. Visualize that nice straight line, wrists, shoulders through to your hips, flat backs. Heels now further to the floor than they were last time. Couple of seconds there, and then nice and low. Scoop through, head and chest up. A few exhales. Hips further and further to the floor. Last one. Plank, pike. Okay, same as before guys, this time I want heels all the way to the floor if you can. Knees locked out, heels to the floor, flat backs. Couple of seconds here, huge pull down the back of the hamstrings into the calves. And then scoop through, extend the arms, a few deep breaths. Last couple. Come back then guys, into child's pose. Okay, so tops of the toes touching the floor. Okay, send your bum back over your heels, nice and low. Head through, nice big stretch down the side of the lats. Couple of seconds here guys, a few deep breaths. Okay, relax through guys, get that head nice and low. If you can get your forehead to the floor, do that. If that's easy, nose to the floor. If that's easy, chin to the floor. Whatever's, easy, whatever, whatever's pushing it for you. Just push that range. Last couple of deep breaths. And so we come up. Nice work team. Okay, we're good to go. Fully mobile, fully ready to go guys. Let's now thinking about uh, our workout itself. So our main bit of work for this morning. So as I mentioned earlier on guys, okay, the kit, you require the load. Okay, you can either be the kettlebell, sandbag, or dumbbell. I'm gonna demonstrate each movement um, so we, we're, we're fully happy with the movement standards for each one, uh, whichever one you should choose. 